it, Charlie. Life is short, eat dessert first. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody says it, nobody does it. But life is short, so today, cobbler for breakfast, peaches from the farmer's market, a little bit fresher, they pat my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice thing. I have a hell of a day. Everybody says it, so sit, sit. You know, I, I got a nice birthday card from your granddaughter, so. You should tell them they don't have to do that every year. <clears throat> Ten years now, you're as close to a grandfather as they've got. They love you. They love you. Oh, speaking of, any word from your grandson? Oh, we won't hear from him until August when he comes out of the mountains. I never took him as outdoorsy. Oh, there's that girl he wants to impress. A skier. Ah, I liked her. He should marry her. She'll kick him in the pants when he needs it. If he doesn't drop dead from trying to be manly, I think he will. <laughs> matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. La, 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 oh, la, it's la, the show. la, la, Oh, it's fantastic. Best fiddler I've ever seen. You should have come. You sound very good. You would have loved it, I'm telling you. Why didn't you come? Oh, I had a book I'm reading. So what's this book that's worth missing a show and my company? Some mystery. I don't know how I got it. I, I know I didn't buy it, and Rachel never went for mysteries. <laughs> no. Rachel loved her romances. A muscly man on the cover and the promise of some bodice ripping. <laughs> you bet she did it. You read it. What, what's a bodice? I've always wondered. <laughs> Top part of a lady's dress. Waist to cleavage. A lot of words you hear much these days. Bad that. Doesn't really have the same tingle to say. With eager hands, she tore off her pants and blouse. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> you good people have some fun. Maybe do some bonnet ripping yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not such good company these days. I'm not saying lead a parade up Times Square. I'm saying go out in the world now and then. You and Rachel play bridge yet. You could do that. Join a book club, play tango lessons. Uh, I appreciate it, but I, I just don't feel like doing it. We should get married. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thinking about this a while now, and I've been wondering if maybe you've been thinking about it too, only you're not saying. So then I'm wondering if maybe you're thinking it and you don't know how to say, or you're not thinking at all, and I'm making a big fat fool of myself. <laughs> 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 At some point, you got to say something. I like to move to a whole new country. <laughs> well, well Shirley, I, 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 I don't... know, I know, this is sudden. Well, then how is it sudden? How could a subject not come up? Aren't you lonely? Don't we get along? Unless you've got a girlfriend somewhere I don't know about. <laughs> I, I just don't know what to say. Do you mean to tell me that that never crossed your mind? No, of course, I, I thought to, uh, you, you know, now and then. Uh, ben, we know each other a long time. It's not going to be any surprises, you know what I mean? That's true, only, only what? I don't mean to be unromantic, but what in hell is your problem? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it seem disrespectful? To who, Rachel? And to Walter, too. Walter? <coughs> May he rest in peace and also rot in his grave. <laughs> he deserves all the disrespect he gets. <laughs> but this isn't disrespectful. In fact, it's a good thing. In fact, it's a very good thing. I do think it could be a very good thing. But she was your best friend. Which is why I know everything about you. <laughs> <laughs> I do. You mean, for instance, how I like my coffee? I mean, for instance, where you hide your magazines. Rachel didn't know. Oh, of course she did. <laughs> Wives know everything. I'm saying I know what you like the best. 
Also, which side you sleep on? I'm saying I know you, and I know it's a dead lock. But what will you say to the kids? A, it's none of their business. <laughs> B, they would jump for joy. <laughs> and C, you need to give me a reason, a real reason. Maybe you find me hard on the eyes? Oh, no, surely no. You're a very attractive woman. Except for Rachel, <clears throat> I would have had eyes for you, eyes for you for years now. So it's my company you don't want so much of. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. I'd like to have you come around, and I like the way you look, and you're clever. And I like I don't have to try to be somebody with you, because you've already seen me when I had that rash and when I threw up after New Year. <laughs> <laughs> time I broke my toe kicking the car when it wouldn't stop. And remember then, years back or so, I thought Bob Velvet took my rake and I yelled at him all Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll take the trip down memory lane of your character flaws some other time. But right now, I'm asking. Come on, Ben, I'm, I'm putting myself right out in the fine line there. Uh, I would feel like I was cheating. How is it cheating when she's dead three years? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not actually, but I feel sometimes like she's here. Uh, you know, in, in the next room, and she's, she's going to walk through the door any minute and say my name. Like she would be watching, and uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, <clears throat> well, I guess there's not anything to say to that. If that's how you feel, <clears throat> then I'll, I'll be on my way. Oh, no, 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 Shirley, not like this. Don't worry. We're still friends. I just need to pull my dignity back together, and we both need to forget this conversation never happened. <clears throat> I'll come back with the dish and dip the soap. Goodbye, Ben. What, what? Oh, my God. What's wrong? I can't believe my eyes. Is it really you? Is it who? Don't you see? A message you sent. To me and Ben? <laughs> who are you talking to? <laughs> are you sure? Are you absolutely sure? Sure, what's going on? <clears throat> yes, I do. I promise. On my life. But tell me, Rachel, are you happy? <laughs> Rachel? Goodbye, <laughs> <laughs> Rachel. God bless you. <clears throat> Did you see that? <laughs> see what? <laughs> see what? <laughs> it was Rachel, clear as day. You didn't see it. She looked terrific, by the way. She was wearing that nice Chanel suit, the one with the little front pockets. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Rachel. Come back from the dead to tell us that she wants us to be together. She <laughs> wants <laughs> <She wants it. laughs> As a ghost. No, I didn't see him. You want me to believe this? Are you calling me a liar? No, no, but come on. Uh, there was no ghost in here. Then how do I know what she was wearing? Huh? <laughs> 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 I'm telling you, thank God it was Rachel, and she gave us her blessing. I don't believe in ghosts. I don't either, but there she was. Big as life. Well, not life, but still. <laughs> <laughs> so why could you see her then, and, and I couldn't? She mentioned that. She said, Shirley, I come to you because I know Ben won't believe. I have a problem and I need your help. Ben is lonely, she said. He's lonely because he doesn't think he deserves to be happy, and that makes me very, very sad. Shirley, what are you doing? I'm trying to get you to live your life. Rachel and me, we're trying to get you unstuck. Rachel sees you're stuck and it's killing her. If she weren't already dead. <laughs> Ask what she said. If he died first, would he want me to be happy again? Wouldn't he want me to let somebody love me if I had the chance? So we're asking Rachel and me, wouldn't you want her to be happy? Yes, uh, yes I would. And surely she said, I know you love him. I know you've loved him a long time because you know he's a good man. I know, she said, that you will treat him and keep him company in his old age. Don't stop being such a coward. Tell him. Make him believe it. Because he loves you too, and he just can't admit it. <coughs> give me my blessing, she said. Don't worry, I won't watch. So you bet she was here. Well, it does sound an awful lot like Rachel. It does. And I think that's just exactly what she would say if she were here. Did you? Yeah, I think maybe she would tell me enough already. 
it's time to be a person again and ask Shirley to marry you. She'll make for you a wonderful wife because she'll kick you in the pants when you need it. <laughs> Why, then, those were her very words. So you did see her. I see her everywhere. <clears throat> I know. I miss her, too. I miss her just all. You think we'd do all right? I do. And I do, too. OK. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>